Sure, guys. Yeah, we do more this I had a weird dream today. <laughs> so, um, I was thinking about the situation in Africa and the whole pandemic, yeah, COVID-19, and how we as South Africans and Africans, actually, are rich in faith, you know? Because according to science... Um, Africa is the cradle of humankind, which means that that all life began here. And I believe science. I believe God. I know how when to listen to science. I know when to listen to God. I know when to listen to the people, because God uses people. The devil uses people. That's my beliefs. You know. If you believe in the KKK, I believe that too, but I'm not much invested in that. I'm interested in the African, um, what do you call this? African spirituality. Like, I'm sure you've noticed that a lot of people in Africa are very spiritual, you know? And the colonizer actually used that to his advantage. And that's why... A lot. I'm a. I'm an omnist, by the way. I believe that all religions have an element of truth to it, and it's not everything that you need to take from Christianity. That's why in South Africa we are actually fighting. Like the very spiritual people are fighting, um, decolonizing Christianity and decolonizing religion, because you know, um, when we speak of God, the Almighty God right he is the overseer of everything and according to the bible he is the one that runs everything right and he created ulucifer that i'm i'm explaining this in my own understanding right as how god speaks to me and lucifer was created in the same spirit that God was created in. He has the same spirit. And he became rebellious. That's why um, God didn't kill him. He, Because he's a forgiving God, right? He didn't kill him. He banished him from the kingdom of heaven. Because whatever God creates, it doesn't die. It is alive. Our African spirits are alive. Our ancestors are alive. And our ancestors are fed up of Africa being taken advantage of by the colonizer using money. And right now I'm making a bold statement saying that um, a lot of people are held by money. And I made a video that I posted just recently that men and women that men should not use men for money and trap them because it is not pleasing to the ancestors you know so right now what we need as africans is to unite in spirit and fight the colonizer spiritually we need a spiritual intervention because that is what we are rich in whatever it is that you believe in believe in that but for the greater good don't do it because of your own benefit. Do it for the purpose of fighting for Africa. That's what we need right now, to be rich in spirit. We don't need money. We have enough money. We have billionaires in South Africa. We have billionaires in Africa. So even if we don't get money... <laughs> Even if we don't get money, God will provide, man. 